Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Kira, and as usual, today we're here playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. So in today's video, I'm planning on taming up some Akatina, the Ark Snails, so that we can get some more cementing paste, or Akatina paste as they produce, which do exactly the same thing. And so, starting off the video, we need to make up some veggie cake because if you didn't know, Akatina only eat veggie cake and that's also what they need to be tamed up. So let me just go down here. I have a whole lot of honey stored in the fridge. That is one of the main ingredients to veggie cake along with sap and most of the other vegetables. And if you've got honey, it's best to store it in the fridge, or at least on a mount, because if you're holding it in your player inventory, it does in fact expire really quickly, as you can see the bars. And unfortunately, it does only have a stack of one at a time. So let's quickly run back and put it in our cooker. easy just to take the griffin and fly her back up to the roof. We do have a staircase on the other side but this is just a little bit quicker than going through the greenhouse. Alright so in here we have all of our ingredients already and now we just need to add in the honey. Which does take a minute because as I said it only allows one stack at a time. And, whoops, we don't need a pillar in there. And there we go, we'll just turn that industrial cooker on and it should start doing its thing. So by the looks, it makes cake pretty quickly in the industrial cooker, I do recommend that. And there we go, we may in fact need some more honey. Turn that off. We've made 10 cakes there. And I'm thinking we might want to tame more than one snail. And they do eat between 5 and 10 each. So I've been told. So we'll just go and get some more honey. Oops, if the lag will let us through. I absolutely love our tech doors that we managed to get. Definitely one of the more annoying things about honey. I do think they should at least make it like prime meat, at least two per stack instead of just the one because it does expire so quickly. This is actually Rhonda's griffin that I'm using to get up and down. But that's fine, Sanima is down there. Gotta be really quick with the honey, it's already expiring. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Put that in there. We can start and turn it on actually while we haven't even put it all in. So by the looks, it takes two honey per cake. And there we go. So now we have all of our cakes ready. And now it's time for us to go find some Akatina to tame up. So I'll bring you right back once we've found some. Okay, we are back and we have found ourselves a little Akatina over here. Right next to the redwoods. A lovely little level 5. It doesn't matter at all what level because we're just using them for their Akatina paste. And so all the levels produce the same amount of paste. So this guy will be super easy to tame up. And super quick hopefully. And Sanima is walking away. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick this little guy up. 
and take him to our tree house because that's where we're going to be keeping the snails. So, I'll meet you at the tree house. Back at the tree houses. Oh my gosh, this lag is atrocious after the updates. But anyway, we've carried our little friend inside the tree house and this is where we're going to tame him up. So, I can't. Akanda, Akatina are a knockout team and so we're just going to need to shoot them up with some tranks. Oh, and it just took literally one trank and it was done. Don't know what that flying was about. And so now we're just going to put a cake on him and we'll see how many he's going to take. It shouldn't take too many at all, so I'm just going to start with one because I don't want him to eat all of them. Food and inventory to tame. I have. Okay, that's a bit strange. Click feed, I've done that. Oh, I see. So you have to manually feed them and then wait for the little timer bar to go down. That's interesting. That's so interesting. Thank you, Rhonda, for the narcotics. Wow, so I've never tamed anything that's needed to do that before. But it's not going up when I'm feeding it. So that's annoying. I'll bring you guys back once I figure it out. Somehow we've managed to get the taming bar to rise. I don't know how. It just, I clicked feed from the cake just to feed, feed it. And then it glitched out and now it has started taming. So maybe you have to wait in between each feed for it to go to the next bite. So we'll just have a look here and see how much one cake has done. And they do wake up extremely fast. Their torpor bar goes down very quickly. Oh, don't know what that was. Is it gonna take a bite? Do we have to feed it that bite? And there we go, it's disappeared again. So that's very strange. Rhonda's cheering, but nothing has happened. Very strange. So again, I'll bring you guys back once we figure it out. Okay, we are back and I have finally figured out how to tame up this little guy. So basically, it was actually super easy. So the very first cake you feed, you have to force feed it. And then you just leave the rest of the cake in there and it will automatically take it itself when it needs it. It just takes a little time for the rest of it to load and if it does pop up saying put food in inventory to tame that just means you don't have any cake for it to take itself so just make sure you have cake in there all that confusion when it was actually super simple but these guys do lose torpor extremely quickly so you just have to make sure you're feeding it narcotics As per usual, it is night time when I am trying to tame. I don't do that on purpose, it always just seems to happen. So I do notice when the bar gets to 100%, it does in fact take a few seconds to click over into the next bite. So that's why I was getting a little bit confused, because it just takes its time. But there you go, as you can see, it did automatically just take the next one. And so it has one cake left, and that should be enough. 
So this guy has used about four cakes. Oh, put food in inventory to tame. It still has cake. So I'm just going to leave it for a second and see what it does. And, and yeah, there we go. It's just automatically fixed itself. So I'm not sure if that is a glitch in the game or if that's just the snail taking a break from eating, who knows. That is very interesting and somewhat annoying, but that's all right. And as you can see, we have added some beehives to our trees. They look super cool. The hives are actually so pretty. I have got like a weird love for bees. And to make honey, you just literally put wildflowers in there and it creates honey every like 45 minutes. So that's pretty cool. And back to this guy, make sure he's not waking up. Oh my gosh, Rhonda's brought her snail. You can carry them, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm totally gonna like name mine Gary from Spongebob, of course. Who wouldn't name their snail Gary? Such a perfect snail name. Mm. Oh my gosh, I just realized they have horns. They have actual horns. I never knew that. This one doesn't. Oh, I see. Rhonda has put her devil horns on it. So they can wear hats guys, Akatina can in fact wear hats. And there we go, we have our tamed up Akatina. So we can go ahead and grab those narcotics back now. And these guys do only eat veggie cake, so be really scarce with how much you put on them. I would in fact only feed them when their food bar gets low because otherwise they will just eat all of your cakes and as you saw earlier these cakes take quite a lot of ingredients to make so only put a cake on them when you know they really need it and so what you do is you just keep them on wander so we'll put that guy on wander and we'll make sure he's passive and they do poop akatina paste but not only that is they do actually collect it up inside them. So after a while you can come back and check on your Akatina and it should have collected some inside here. So like as you saw on Rhonda's one, hers has been wandering around for a little bit and it's collected up some paste. And they do also collect organic polymer but that expires extremely quickly as well so you have to remember to collect that quite often. They are so cute, what the heck, I hate snails in real life. So as I said earlier, let's name this little guy Gary. I haven't even checked if it's a female or a male, but Gary can just be a universal name, who cares. Oh, what the heck, do Akatina not have gender? I believe they do not even have a gender. Where's the other one? I never knew this. I'm learning. Okay, so never mind. They do not, in fact, have a gender. But that would actually make a lot of sense because I know snails in real life, they don't necessarily need a, another snail to reproduce. So that's cool that Ark has actually involved a lot of true facts into their dinos. Oh, and we have our first paste collected. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please remember to leave a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I'm Kira, and of course, you've been watching Kira Games.